plates all those, all those years ago, but it's a really it's a pretty good example of the kind of, of density that you want in an applicant. And that's, that's, I think if I etch this, I would get pretty much that in there. It might actually be a little bit, a little bit less. Um, this is this is a Ross and Acton from years ago, but it's close enough together that the tones are very consistently different. There's a difference in tonality based on biting time, uh, whereas in, in in this one, the biting time didn't really result in a consistent tone, okay, mm -hmm. because of the of the application. And it's hard to get right. Harder with rosin than it is with spray, but it's it's hard to get right. And all the other things that are going on in this are evidence examples of like various stop out techniques, right? And and um, erasing techniques with scraper and burnisher, right? How do you get this kind of spongy effect? This is by open biting and building on, on, on that. The plates somewhere here, I'll show you the 